Secondly, the School of Communication and Liberal Studies had their first lecture, tag, 2015 elections. The famous barrister, Barrister Femi Falano, was present at the event. Let's hear the views of those who were present. At the maiden edition of a public lecture organized by School of Communication and Liberal Studies. In my own opinion, I believe it's a good one it's a, because of the fact that the members of the communication were being given the opportunity to hear from the son, the senior advocate of Nigeria, Dr. Barrister Femi Falano, to explain to the journalists to come about the coming election and about uh, what they need to know concerning the law in reporting to the members of the, of the society. So I, I believe, in my own opinion, is a good idea. It's a welcome development by the by, by the dean. Uh, I mentioned his name with humility, Doctor. I mean, Barrister A. A. Alake. So I believe this will be a gear up for journalists in the in their in carrying out their profession to report on election day. I'm Basi Michael Etten, a student of Lagos State Polytechnic. As placed before me is my take on the lecture that was conducted at the SMBS Hall in the Lagos State Polytechnic. Well, the guest speaker of the day was Barrister Femi Falano, a very great man. I think he's, I'm not thinking, he's a senior advocate of Nigeria like the likes of Fashola and the rest. That man is such a great man. This question placed before me is not about eulogizing or trying to rain praises on him, but that man, yesterday, as yesterday being the 27th of uh, January 2015, was a great day for me because I was meant to have a practical privilege in getting to hear the inside mind of that very man. He gave sight to different angles and areas of cases he's been made to handle in the course of his line of dealing. Dr. Barrister Femi Falano is a great man. He was able to pinpoint practically all the areas that I never thought he would be able to talk to us. He, he, he spoke concerning a diverse topic. It, when I mean diverse topic, I personally speaking, one way or the other, my line where I wanted, where I wanted him to talk about he actually made references to that area. He made references to human rights. He made references to how we shouldn't be deprived of saying our, our thoughts outside the public. He made references to the main issue of the day, which was ethical conduct that every journalist has to carry on his or her mind before venturing into that line of practice. He was able to sensitize even the lecturers of our school, telling them one angle or the other where they were having gray areas about. In fact, questions at the end of the day were being asked, both from the students' perspective, from the perception of the lecturers, even the people who came in from broadcasting stations actually heard their thoughts and their opinions concerning questions that they were having as problems and he was able to touch holistically every point and every ramification of the questions that he was placed before. So my own opinion, I'm thinking such men shouldn't just be one. Ghani Williams, uh, the other, the other, the other uh, human rights activist who died from the people who were present at the program say no to election violence. 